What's going on, guys? So uh, it seems we have a new trailer out for a new game. I'm pretty excited. I was just uh, chilling on Hoth a little bit. Uh, they had a, a nice little meal there for me prepared. It was pretty hot. It's pretty toasty. But I think we're going to go and react to this trailer. So let me land this puppy and we can talk about it. Where's that button here? Right, right, there it is. <laughs> Uh, what can I say? I love what I do. Anyways, so we just got a new trailer. I just got uh, a text from Josh, and I got a text from uh, my buddy Nick, who edits some of the videos. And, oh, I actually didn't even notice right until now that they have a new banner. Um, let's go ahead and watch the trailer. I don't know anything about the game. I don't know what it's about. I don't know what the trailer, what the genre of the game is, uh, what type of game it is. But let's go ahead and watch it. It's almost three minutes long. It's a pretty long trailer, so... Over a thousand people in here already. What's up? All right, let's roll. Thank you, Mike. Have you done the reaction to the new Cobra Kai? No, I was literally going to do the reaction to the new Cobra Kai trailer. Hence, but uh, then I saw that literally as I hit go live, as I was about to hit go live, I saw that we got a trailer here. So if you like Cobra Kai, um, go check out my Cobra Kai channel, Cobra Kai Theory. It was the first ever Cobra Kai channel on YouTube. I love that channel. And I'm happy to start making content again for it with Cobra Kai Season 4 coming out. But that's not what you're here for. So let's go ahead and watch the trailer for the game. Oh. Turn this up. What the heck? What? <laughs> what the hell? Holy smokes! 
That has got to be the coolest goddamn Star Wars thing I have seen in like, I don't know, what? How many years? First of all, made by one of the favorite developers that, of mine that made one of my favorite games, Detroit Become Human. Dude. Talk about a 180. Holy crap, man. Like, with one trailer, just bring us back, like, to... Dude. That was one of the most beautiful trailers I've seen, one of the most moving trailers I've seen. I don't know even what the hell I just saw, but let's go ahead and watch it again. And I'm going to, like, pick apart some stuff that I see. I saw a lot of stuff from the prequels. I saw a lot of stuff from... It looked like the Old Republic, but not so much. I mean, you had the Trade Federation. Like, you had the droid control ship, which was interesting. And we saw Yoda at that... Like, what the hell, dude? Okay, let me... Let's, let's, roll, let's run, run this back. That was... That was actually, that was legit. That was actually amazing. Jesus Christ. Talk about knocking that out of the park, man, with a single trailer. Dude, these guys know what they're doing. This is what happens when EA isn't involved. You get actual... Oh, man. Oh, my God. Like, even just the, the sound of the ship passing by and the music starting with it, it's just so... Oh! Man, I I've been feeling dry. I've been feeling like a... weathered leaf. Look at that! Look at that! God damn! Coruscant! Yoda! Oh, dude. I never thought I'd see this again. This is actually so nice. It just feels like they've been deviating so freaking much from, like, the heart of what it actually is, man. And it's just beautiful to see that again. It's so artistic. It's so moving. It's so beautiful. Shit! I have not felt like this in a long time. I've been, like, dragging my feet. I'm like, okay, we got this coming up. We got this coming up. This is like, ah, I feel, I feel reinvigorated, man. I feel fired up again. Damn! This is what I was missing! God! This one freaking trailer, man. Like, and I hope it's, you know, this isn't, like, a letdown or anything. I don't think it is. But this one trailer of this, this one right here, like, I just... I don't know, it's what I needed. This is what we all needed. Yes! Yes, God damn it! Dude, holy crap. Let's go, baby. Dude. It just looks so 
freaking cool. It looks so much cooler than anything we've gotten in, in I don't know, a long time. Dude, this is a this is this is a win. This is a goddamn win. This is uh this is a good day. So out of left field. I did not think this would even happen. And like What the freak, man? Okay, I I already stopped watching this. I got to answer some of you guys' supers. Uh What's up, Parth? Bounty Hunter Walkthrough Part 4 is not up anymore. I'm confused. Oh, I got to put it up then. I have a good fan fiction in mind. What if Luke completed his training on Dagobah with Yoda and never left to save the others in ESB? Hope all is well. Thanks, man. I'm hope. Yeah, I hope all is well with you, dude. I'm very freaking psyched for this trailer. This is amazing. This is like this is like Dune meets Star Wars. I don't even know what else meets a uh, open world game like. Jesus, this is unbelievable. I want the freaking soundtrack to this. Like, I want to. So I'm guessing the characters they turned around towards the camera have significance. Uh, maybe just a guess. So I, I nah, you never know. It's set in the High Republic. This is the best way to get us into the High Republic. This is how they should have launched it, not the books. Yeah, honestly, if they launched it like this, I would have been really pumped. A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Definitely. Thanks, Okunde. What's up, Ryan? Guys, are you... How, like... How, dude, how freaking stoked are you, man? Like, I just feel like I've been... I don't know. I feel like I've just been waiting for something really cool for a while. And I feel like we haven't gotten much. You know what I mean? Like, this is... This is it, bro. This is it. This is what I wanted. I wanted something like this. Star Wars Eclipse is the newest adventure in the High Republic era. Now early in development by Quantic Dream. Learn more on... <laughs> it seems like it's a little farther than early development. Set during the High Republic era, Star Wars Eclipse is an intricately branching action-adventure game that can be experienced in many ways and puts the destinies of multiple playable characters in your hands, created in collaboration between Quantic Dream and Lucasfilm Games. Yeah, it's going to be freaking epic. It's going to be a beautiful game. If you haven't played Detroit Become Human, you're missing out. Uh, so it says... Puts you in the destinies of multiple playable characters in your hands. So does each character have like a different outcome or something like that? Could that be what they're meaning? I never comment on their stuff, but I'm going to comment. And I'm going to leave the caps. This is incredible, man. This looks really good. Jeez. What was the uh the website at the end? StarWarsEclipse.com. A new action adventure, multiple characters, branching narrative game set in the higher public era presented to you by Quantic Dreams and Lucasfilm Games, now early in development. Choices have consequences. Every decision you make can have a dramatic repercussion on your journey. Oh, shit. It's like freaking... Uh... What was that game? Mass Effect. See, it's like Mass Effect. Which I never actually played, but all my buddies did. I didn't have an Xbox at the time. Uh, the way of life in the Outer Rim is being threatened, and you must define your path. Check out our, galaxy, our gallery for more iconic screenshots. Dude, it looks like a movie. 
A drummer with tree roots in front of him. Let's see the captions of all, of all these. A starship rapidly approaches a planet in distress and seeking to land. Ships fly above a rustling cityscape as its temple rises above. Yeah, look at that right there. A pet shopkeeper walks through the bazaar. Okay, yeah, self-explanatory. Amon Calamari arrives at the market. Who's this dude? A mysterious stranger sitting in a corner. <laughs> you don't say. Uh, a suspicious-looking Juros who surveys a bustling market. Why is he suspicious? Because he's got one eye? A speed... A speeder bike races across a natural landscape while an animal drinks at a pond. Some mad Attack of the Clones vibes from that, but... Yoda stands in an empty Jedi Council room looking out the window. Yes, dude. So Yoda is like 200 years before Episode 1 right here. Jeez, man, I never thought I would see Yoda again like that. Oh, this is great. Grab free digital goodies from Star Wars Eclipse. To use on social networks, phone to... Uh, geez, this is beautiful, man. Two Jedi star spar with their lightsabers on a bridge. A ship lands on a pier in an oceanic landscape. Six ships fly towards a fortress in an icy landscape. Sometimes they give away details in these. A droid looks across a desolate environment. It's not C-3PO. A group of animids in red... Wouldn't that be funny if this is C-3PO? Like, originally? And Anakin just, like, finds parts of him. And uses some of these parts to put them together. But, but no. Close up on an eye looking at the eclipse. So, let me guess. Something happens when, when an eclipse hits, I guess, like, these dudes are like orcs and they come around or something like that. Uh, the only problem with this is that the Trade Federation ships are the same 200 years before episode one. So. Who cares? Whatevs. Dude, there's no uh, announcement on the date, is there? Press kit English. Pretty cool, man. Surprise for sure, but a welcome one. Yeah, you got that right. Bro, I feel like my faith is being restored with just one trailer. Yeah, that's how you know it's, it's kind of been rough. Uh, it brings great joy to see. And, and it shouldn't be like this. You know, I feel like if they had these trailers kind of scattered around, around through the year, and perhaps they were just taking time to make them. I don't know. But I feel like if they organized it better, they could have had these scattered throughout the year every three months. I mean, Marvel's getting something every two weeks, it seems. So, you know, why not us? Why not us, man? Why not us? They can make more money from Star Wars than, than Marvel, I think. It brings great joy to see you this hyped. This is where the fun begins. Yeah, you guys haven't seen me like this in like a year. It's Quantic Dream. It will not be a letdown. I agree with that. Let's go. So excited. Hope all is well. Definitely Star Wars Fantasy. How you doing? Let's go. Hyped once again. What's up, Arlo? This is exactly what I needed to bring me back. Everything goes together so well. I almost cried the first time watching it. It feels good to be really excited for Star Wars again. Yeah, you're telling me, dude. <laughs> you're telling me, man. Jeez. Let me tell you. It's It's been... I've been like... I mean, like, like, I'm just, like, trying to scour, like, lore videos, making stuff from, like, a few years ago, like, Mace Windu's Master and stuff. I'm just, like, this is boring content, but it's content nonetheless. I know some of you guys like that stuff, but, man, I want to, I wanna, like, yeah, I want to talk about new stuff.
that I'm really excited about. And I'm happy that this is new and I'm excited about this. This is great. I'm really pumped. A High Republic read-along? Do you want me to get sued? <laughs> Do I look like Mark Thompson? No, I don't. Um, getting serious Dune vibes from this. I'm very intrigued. Is that likely Plagueis or some other Sith Lord coming out of that bath? No, it's probably someone new. The scene with Yoda is everything of Miss Prequel scenery. Yes, I have too. Uh, I almost teared up a bit when I saw that, but I've learned my lesson. Guess you're going to have to read The High Republic now. Yeah, I guess. Looks amazing. Was that Embo in the trailer? I hope those two Force users aren't a dyad. <laughs> whatever, I don't care if they're a dyad, they're a dyad. It, it, whatever. This trailer looks too damn sick. Like, there's just... At, in some trailers, there's some stuff that I pull from, and I'm like, okay, this is kind of cool, the rest is kind of... Eh. This... There's been nothing that's been lame. It just like ramps up higher and higher from the beginning, where it starts with the with the music of the uh, the ship, and the freaking oh man, this is so good. I'm like a deprived, starving child, and you just put a big plate of food in front of me. That is a big tree, hey. That is a massive tree. Or it's just a drum and there's like a tree around. So these guys might be in some like... Okay, so they look really pale. So maybe there's some like vampire creature species that only comes out when it's dark. And they're like extremely powerful. And perhaps Yoda's like looking, oh dude, I already have so many ideas for this. And perhaps, perhaps Yoda's like looking over the city and being like, okay, the eclipse is coming. So that means our, our evil nemesis are coming and, and I don't know. These guys can only rise once every like hundred years. Or a thousand years, I don't know. You're probably that character. You're probably the one in the ship. You could probably play as one of each of these characters that we saw, I bet. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Oh, God. Dude, these guys look so badass. Okay, so obviously they don't like the uh, the droid control ships before the droids are even there, I guess. Unless these are you, unless you're playing with the good guys. You know who they look like? They look like uh, they look like the aliens from Mel Gibson, Joaquin Phoenix, Signs. Maybe one of them is missing a few fingers. Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop watching this, dude!
This is so great. Uh, finally, something cool. Jesus. Man. I'm pumped, dude. What are you guys saying? They look like the Nogri? Kamen Owens? No, I don't think so. Uh, someone says, God damn, this looks lame. I would disagree. I think this looks freaking sick. This ain't even Star Wars. How is this not Star Wars, dude? What do you mean? It's very Star Wars. You kidding me? It's very, very Star Wars. <sighs> Non-EA Star Wars games are already off to a very promising start. Now we just need a next-gen Bounty Hunter game and an Empire game, and bro, we're set. A uh, Bounty Hunter game would be really cool. Really cool. But yeah, I fully agree. Anything non-EA is looking like it's very good. Yeah, with you, I've been a fan since way back. I love the content I do. Can't wait for this. Looks like a KOTOR remake for me, but looks dope to me. Yeah, well, I don't think it's a remake. I think it looks like something... Yeah, High Republic, I guess, which now I'm actually motivated to read the books because I'm like, if all that's going to be in there, the drummer had a Padawan braid. No, he didn't. He was bald. Hold on. Oh, you're right. No, it's a, uh, no, it's an earring. It's an earring. Yeah, he's a little edgy. He's a little... You know, digging it, Voldemort on drums, Clone Wars. What's not to like? Fan fiction idea, what if Luke and Leia were switched? Do you think that would affect the story at all? Uh, Yeah, probably. I think Leia was... Um... I think I made a video about that. Where they actually switched... The Star Wars room. What's up? What's up, Levi? What up, Vince? This looks more hype than KOTOR. There, I said it. Yeah, I wouldn't disagree. Here's hope for another late night pizza party when you play the game. You guys already know that. I'm, we're going to be playing this. It's going to be just like Jedi Fallen Order. And uh, it's going to be a really great time. I can't wait. I'm very excited for a new Star Wars game, new Star Wars content. Something that's cool and fun. And yeah, man, my, my heart feels full. So... This would be close to the timeline of Darth Tenebris and his master, according to the Order of the Sith Lord's book. I'm so emotional right now. Me and my friends are talking that it could be during Stark Hyperspace War or around the time. But okay, so I got some homework to do. I got to go read the High Republic books now. Can I use the Dooku Survives for my film? What? What do you mean? So this is what happens when you take EA exclusively... <laughs> Or is this still under EA? No, this is not EA. This is Quantum. Go play the game Detroit Become Human if you haven't already. It is a beautiful game, and it's made by these guys. So when the eclipse hits, the guys coming out of the black smudge emerges. That This is the sun, who is the pure dark side. No, oh, you think so? I don't think so. I don't think they would use that. Will you feel more like High Republic books and comics now? The game seems to really tie into the, with the Nile Space Vikings we see. Uh, no, I still think the, the comics are lame. I still think the comics... There's a reason I, I, I didn't finish them was because I was bored. This makes me want to read them just in case there's any information in there that I would then apply to this game, which looks sick. Otherwise, I'm not really inclined. I don't think like the... But... Yeah, like I would use those books for this game. Theory we're going to need a walkthrough of this? You already know. Late night pizza parties streaming this game. That was the longest stream of my life. Oh no, actually the longest stream of my life was the charity event that we had where we raised 35 grand, all of you guys. The second longest was Jedi Fallen Order, I think, which was an eight or nine hours. This looks amazing. Can't wait to play. Super hyped for Star Wars. Love seeing you this hyped. Yeah, did you guys miss seeing me hyped? Did you feel like I was kind of just dragging my feet a little bit? It's because of the content. It was just kind of 
you know. This makes me feel like a little kid again. It reignites that part of me. Seeing this trailer and be so happy. I hope it delivers. There's been an there's been an awakening. Go to 53 and look at the Monte Calamari character again. Looks like maybe a Jedi outfit. Okay, let's get to it. I think we see the Ebon Hawk. Nowhere. We have to so show so much support so they know this is what we want. Yeah, man, look, I'm going to keep coming down on them until they release stuff that everyone unanimously loves, not just stuff that only a certain group of people love or whatever. You know, we, us Star Wars fans are still around. You know, the ones from the beginning. It's not just the new age people. I heard it's based in the higher public. You're not wrong. This is an apology for the Star Wars Hotel trailer, says Golden Guy Pictures. Maybe they just want to take our attention off of that. <laughs> Have you ever noticed that whenever something doesn't do as well as they expected, media-wise, they always release something else to kind of change our uh, change the, the flow? I'm afraid it won't be open world. They better not stop me from jumping off a bridge. It might not be open world, but it might be... Um... Either way, I, I don't know. It's going to be cool, though. It can't come out till 2023 because that's when exclusivity ends for EA. And this company also made the Guardians of the Galaxy game, and that was great. Oh, I never played it. <sighs> like, where Dooku is made into a robot, the theory. Right. What about it? What do you mean you want to use that for your movie? Like the idea? Sure, whatever. Just go ahead. Perhaps the early years of Plagueis, depending on when in the High Republic this takes place, this will show the early stages of the Sith returning. Uh, no, because in the Phantom Menace, to say we haven't seen a Sith for a thousand years, so maybe we could see it in the shadows, but we can't see it actually like returning, returning. You know what I mean? Like where Yoda is aware of them. That just wouldn't be good for continuity purposes. Drummers kind of look like the fifth brother species. Where's my water? The sheriff will be pleased, I reckon. No, the sheriff's going to be mad. The sheriff's going to be mad, but Jedediah is going to like it. That's for sure. He might have something to say about it tonight. Ray Skywalker vs. Darth Jar Jar video in the future. I'm hyped at this game. The trailer looks great, but it's by the people that make those diverging choice-based games like Detroit. Love their games, though. Dude, I love those games. What do you mean? And it seems like it's one of those games that, like, exactly as you said, and I was reading it in the synopsis or whatever, it's like you make certain decisions, and it'll, like, take you somewhere else. And then if you make, you can go back and replay the game, and it'll be a totally different game if you make other decisions. I love that. Essentially, you got like 20 games in one game. AJ Tiz is a new member. Thanks, man. Remember, this Sunday, we're going to be playing Battlefront with all join members. So if you want to join up, you can do it now. This is the way. Thanks, man. Guardians of the Galaxy is very good and surprising fun to play. Uh, you should try it. Okay. Cool. Is it on PC? Separatist ships in the High Republic. Is there lore that I'm missing? Yeah, I'm a little confused about that. But I guess they'll explain it? Somehow? Let's go ahead and watch it again. All Star asks, is this game going to be canon? Yeah. This is going to be canon. By the way, guys, if you didn't know, I have a gaming channel where I game all the time. It's called Theories Arcade. It's got over 100,000 subscribers. I'm there every day for hours on end. So uh, I'll be playing I'll be playing this game on this channel, but I'll also be playing parts of this game probably, like side quests, probably on that channel as well. Total Dune vibes at the end. I love it. Me too. I definitely meant... 
returning in the shadows, my bad. Also love seeing a younger trade federation between the separatists. Yes, me too. Me too. Uh, Hawk is a new member. Thanks, man. Hope you uh, have fun on Sunday with all of us. I wonder which species you can play as. Dude, like... It's just... It's beautiful, man. I never thought I would see that again. I really didn't. I really didn't think I would see that again. It just seemed like they were trying so hard to, like, push away from the prequels, and uh, I'm just really happy that we get to see the Jedi Council again, and Coruscant, and those colors, and the, the city. It's, uh, it's... It's nice, dude. To say the least. Wouldn't it make sense uh, for Disney to make a game where you play as Luke to gather things for Ahsoka, his one true love? At 117, looks like there is a Naboo fighter in the water. It looked like Naboo at 117, but it wasn't. Which one in the water? Oh, you're totally right, dude. Right there. Wait, why is that here? Is, is there a time jump in the game? Where is this? This isn't Kashyyyk. But it could be. No. What, there's a moon. There's no, there's another planet in the background. So perhaps this is the moon. Where is this? You guys see the Naboo fighter right there? Good eye, man. Good eye. Michael Taylor. Ahoy. I believe the studio implies it will be different to their previous games. What do you think the drummer species are? Always love from Australia. <laughs> Thanks, Johnny. Top Gun Johnny. Thanks, man. Um, are they implying this isn't going to be like their other games? The drummer species? I don't know. I think there must be something new, perhaps. It's Maz's planet. <laughs> I can see High Republic book sales peaking right now. I'm going to buy them. <laughs> I mean, before I got blacklisted, they were sending them to me for free, but... I'm going to buy them. I'm going to buy them all. I'm going to go on Amazon buy them all right now. Uh, huge fan. I've been here watching all the Star Wars films because fun. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks, AJ. The Separatists were around and joined the Galactic Senate finally around 50 BBY, according to Darth Plagueis' novel. More Legends material, finally. Yeah, but they were around, but the droids weren't around. That came a little later. At least not 200 years before. So that's, the, that's what I'm going off of here. And if this is 200 years, and this is 200 BBY. No, this would be... This is 200 years before The Phantom Menace, which is... Uh, uh, what is that? Like, what is, is that 219 BBY? No, when was a Phantom Menace? Was that that was uh, Phantom Menace was nine was nine years plus another ten so another fourteen so it's twenty three years it's twenty three so it's it's two hundred and twenty three BBY right. <laughs> 
It's all right. The more I watch this, the more questions I have. It's exciting. Do you think the drummers are a new race or are they like Risk? I think they're a new race. I don't see them really incorporating much of legends in there. I don't think I don't think they're going to bring in the use on Vong either. Sadly, Ubisoft is working on an open world game. So even if the story structure, I'll be happy. Looks incredible. I think it's probably story structure, man. 232 BBY. Yeah. Theory, yesterday in your stream in the Boba trailer yesterday at 45 second mark, it looks like a Jedi in with the full robe outfit fighting on the left. I'll have to check it out. It's not Newt Gunray, someone else. Okay, so I'm thinking like once the eclipse happens, all these dudes probably start to band together with these dudes. Where are they? I think we're about to see them. Yeah, they probably band together with these guys. I don't know who the hell these guys are, but they look like the drummer guys, and they look freaking cool. Dude, that's such... That's such a sick scene. That transition is so cool, man. What the hell? Oh, God. Oh. This is not like the private view. I've been watching the one same trailer for like 40 minutes. Jesus. It's like that that excitement is always still inside of me. Like like it, it just I just need it just needs to, to be This is nice. It's a nice feeling. Need the theory and Josh discussion. We'll have that on Monday. Uh, you're a role model for all. Thank you for being you and being a rock for so many people. Fellow BC boy too. Love you, man. Thanks, Levi. I, I, I wouldn't call myself a role model for anyone, but uh, I'm always just me. So if you like it, you like it. If you don't. Okay. What's up, Star Wars Unknown? Thanks, man. This is just the beginning, says Boma. Boma, where the hell have you been? Hint, High Republic books won't have a direct relation to this story because, anyways, Merry Christmas until next year. Dude, Boma's the most mysterious man in the world. Are we not going to talk about the curved Jedi hilt? Where? Oh, yeah. Weird. Oh, wait, that's not curved. That's just the way... It... Does that held have a flashlight on it? <laughs> uh, what is that? Oh, no, those are fingers. Never mind. Oh, that one. You're very Dooku-esque. Very, very Dooku-esque. Love the amazing mustache, but more seriously, I would love what I love what you do. Keep up the good work. May the force be. Thank you, Big France. Super generous. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, dude. I'm glad. I'm glad someone's liking my stash. I don't even really know what I'm doing with my beard, but. Are you going to react to the new Cobra Kai trailer? Yeah, so if you want to head over to Cobra Kai Theory, that is my Cobra Kai channel, uh, I'm going to go react to the uh, Season 4 trailer right now. Uh, what do you think 
the thing that rises out of the gloop is possible ultimate Sith creation? No, it's probably some powerful dude that perhaps has the ability to withstand the force. Like a Yuzon Vong. It's like he's made out of the Asalamari. Asalamari were these creatures that if you put them on you, force users can't affect you. Like, where have these people been? <laughs> you know, like, it's such a cool trailer. I'm blown away. Okay, so here's what's happening. I think she is obviously keeping an eye on the sun and how the eclipse is coming in. Once the eclipse comes in, it's probably go time for all of the creatures that have been cast away under the earth, perhaps, or the, under the planet, perhaps, for, you know, I don't know, centuries, millenniums, who knows. And it's go time, baby. You know, now this, this war is about to happen. Maybe that's what's really going on. Dude. It's kind of like Warhammer. Man, I haven't been this excited. Oh, God. He's like the full Eclipse dude. <laughs> he doesn't come out unless the Eclipse has happened. For 1,000 years we have slept, and now it's our time to finally get a coffee above Earth. <sighs> Scream. What is this trailer for? New game? Yeah, new game, man. They should add old Jenkins in a Western Star Wars game. Just saying. Uh, now this is the real Star Wars. Goosebumps. During that snow planet battle... Was that a herd of wampas coming to them, coming at them? It kind of looked like it, hey? But it's probably just an alien species. Just tuning in, what kind of game is this? MMO, RPG? I don't know yet. No one knows. Amazing cinematic with zero gameplay. This game could be a Star Wars Candy Crush for all we know. No. They wouldn't know, dude. No, it's already said that it's going to be some kind of a role-playing game. With multiple outcomes. Obviously, with many worlds, this is going to be beautiful. 
Probably 2023. Jeez, this is amazing, dude. I can't get over it. Sickest shot of the whole trailer, I think. Six dope, my first live stream of yours. Right on, man. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the stream, I guess I should say. Just tuning in. Uh, yo, this looks dope. My first... Yo, Theory. Mon Calamari on the left has Jedi apparel. The scene with the Duros with the eye patch. Love what you do. Thanks, man. Okay, let me check this out. I don't think he has Jedi apparel. Yeah, he could. I feel like you could probably play as this guy. You could probably play as the Mon Calamari. You could probably play as the Duros. He's probably like a sniper or something, you know? Like his specialty is sniping. I'll bet you... Uh... Yeah, maybe he's like a force wielder. He's probably like a gunslinger. I don't know. This guy looks sick, though. Seems like looks like he's out of the Wild West or something. It's like from a Clint Eastwood movie. For a few dollars more. That's sick, dude. I'm very, very, very stoked for this. Very stoked. Very stoked. Very happy. What's the symbol on the guards and the building? I don't know. Do you guys want me to do like a breakdown video for this? Like a concise one? I'm going to just collect my thoughts. I'll go ahead and watch it more later tonight and have something out for you guys probably tomorrow or something. Dude, it's so good to have something to be excited about besides Boba. This is amazing, but when are you going to finally react to The Last Padawan 2? Glad to see you stoked for this. What is The Last Padawan 2? Mon Calamari at 53 is Jedi. You think? I don't think so, dude. I think he's just a dude. Oh. Oh. That one. My worthy apprentice. You may be correct. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, you might be a Jedi. I don't know. I don't see a lightsaber at all, though. Yeah, maybe. Perhaps. Nebu fighter in the water at 120. Why is there audio delay? Because I didn't restart my computer. So. Yeah. There is no audio delay? So someone... Oh, so it's, I guess it's only for some people. I just arrived. Do we know what's the race that is playing at the end? Nope. That end up looking like at the camera and what's coming out of the black ooze thingy? Thanks. Uh, for now, we don't know. I'm thinking it could be probably like the ultimate meatball, the ultimate villain, the ultimate dude, you know? We only saw cutscenes, no gameplay, so we can't tell anything yet. Yeah, but usually cutscenes are a way of uh, us knowing a bit about what the game is about, possibly. An article says that is 3C3PO making a cameo appearance. Oh, so I was right. Cool. So it's actually C-3PO before he gets dismantled and then Anakin has to put him together. That would be pretty wild. That'd be really cool. I'd love that. Okay, I'm going to do a poll right now. And I want you guys to vote. Mm -mm -mm. Be excited for this game. 
And then I'm also going to put a post on uh, Cool. Dude, this is epic. Well, thanks guys for joining in. Uh, head over to my Cobra Kai Theory channel. I'm going to go there right now, and I'm going to watch the trailer. So I'd love if you all siphoned on over there for Cobra Kai Season 4. And uh, I'll be making all my breakdown videos essentially once the show comes out. But right now, let's have some fun. Let's go watch the trailer for a few minutes. Uh, let's vibe out in my other favorite story, which is The Karate Kid, which is Cobra Kai and have some fun there. Um, if you didn't know, I have that channel for a long time, and I've interviewed the creator of Karate Kid, and Robert Mark Kamen, and a lot of the actors. So there's a lot of content on there you guys might enjoy. It's the video audio delay, not your mic. Oh, I see SPS Sabres already has the curved Saber model half finished. Cool. There's a little to be excited about so far. Yeah, I know. It's just a game trailer, but you know what? I just feel like this is really resonating with me right now. So I'm I'm gonna go with the excitement because life's short and yeah, why not? So let's roll. I'll see you guys over on Cobra Kai Theory in one minute. Love you all. Very excited, very happy, and uh this, this is a good this is a good win. See you there in a bit. <laughs> 